show you a little bit about how to run this call. Uh, you want to hold this call the same way we hold the slate, the aluminum, we hold them all the same. We're going to hold them up in our finger pads, between our thumb and our fingers, keeping the bottom of the call up off the palm of our hand. We're going to place your striker hand down on the bottom of the call, make a little pivot point. We're going to hold the striker fairly firm, letting it rest across the top of the first finger, the bottom of the middle finger, pushing down with our thumb. We're going to place our striker hand on the bottom of the call, place the striker down about an inch below the top edge of the wood. For a basic hen yip, we're going to do an oblong circle just like we do with the slate of the aluminum. Throw in a few clucks. Now remember to cluck, we're just simply pushing down, letting the striker jump forward about an eighth of an inch. Sliding it back. Same thing when we cut. Except the cutting is a little faster, a little more aggressive. Very excited call. For the yip, just an oblong circle about an inch long. Fly down cackle, we're basically just going to let the striker, we're doing the, basically the same thing we did when we cut and cluck, but we're just going to do it in a real fast motion. We're going to start off slow. She's sitting on the limb, doing some clucks. She flies out. She's on the ground clucking. Again, fly down cackle, just start off with some clucks. And then the fly down cackle. The one thing about the, uh, the glass that I do like is the kiki. If, if I'm going to do the kiki run on a friction cow, I always do it on a glass cow. I'm going to hold my striker really tight for this. And I'm going to pull it in a straight line. And then I'm going to back off on the striker pressure and do my yip. The kiki run. I'm just pulling that key key, that whistle, in a straight line on the edge of my striker. Going in a cluck and yelping at the end of it. And there you have the key key run. The glass call is fantastic for the key key. Now, to take care of this glass call, I do something a little different. I still use the 220 grit sandpaper for the end of my striker to keep my striker conditioned. I use this 220 grit on all my strikers. But to sand the surface of the glass call, I'm using one of our sanding sticks. It's got a stone on the end of it. I'm going to place this stick down on the edge. I'm going to tilt it back on the edge, about 30 degrees away from it. And I'm going back and forth in a straight line. This sanding stick is fantastic. If you own a glass call, you need a sanding stick. They are fantastic. But to get to condition this call, I'm only going to do the top third of it. I'm going to tilt the sanding stick back on an angle, about 30 degrees, and back, go back and forth with it. Across the top third of the call, and you're done. Here you have the Pro Custom Glass.